So hi guys, today I'm going to show you, um, I like I'm going to make a little comparison video. Now as you can see we've got the really basic stuff, the things that we have been through like the normal zoom in zoom out and the bar, the sidebar on different softwares on the bomb bar, or it could be anywhere, but the shapes thing, it's not on that, you have to draw everything, it's a bit confusing when you go from like Tinkercad to like an, uh, a bigger software and it doesn't really matter but as you can see you can like change the work plane and stuff you can also do it on other softwares you've only got one work plane and in the other softwares you've got like xyz axis and uh, it's all up there and then we've also got and in the other software we've normally got construct while in this software we don't got any construct and moreover um you can see this logo and you know you have to edit it using this you can't really make a smooth um you can't really make a smooth thingy uh a smooth cube and it'll take you a long time to like integrate a part i've tried it a long time so it takes a really long time i'm just gonna show you like what you're gonna have to do and i don't even think that's the real process or don't even ask me i think that that's just to get one side like that the other side's completely round so and i'm gonna have to make another square to like cut the bottom part yeah and normal other tools you can you have like a bunch of fancy icons here yeah, it's pretty straightforward like even a three-year-old can use this okay maybe not three-year-old but you know someone pretty not knowing could watch a tutorial or two, tutorial or two and maybe just learn the full software yeah i'm really working hard to like get that thingy but it's not working so simply simply very annoying so now as you can see we've also got the other shapes which is also not normal in in other softwares you've got like a square a circle and you've got to make a, if you want to make a software you're going to use a whole different process we've also got scribble which is basically like sketch but we definitely do not use it as much because it doesn't have any like straight tools and it's very hard to use um yeah so this is a this looks like a very basic software now i'm gonna hop on to the next one so now i'm on i'm on this software which is on shape you've all seen it hope you have but as you can see this is a free tool well, if you got the student subscription and it's got everything got the front plane the back plane and and now i'm just going to do like a make a smooth object to show you that tinkercad's way of making smooth objects is very different and the normal out outline of this is very different as you can see look um I'm just making a simple smooth object and I've, and I've got loads of other things that to fit it if I put a square and I actually forgot to delete it I can just use a fillet but in Tiki you got to use a whole nother process and and plus I've also got like a load of other there's also been like a, the cone rectangles and there's also the the three planes it's actually pretty much the same to Autodesk it's pretty much the same, but Autodesk is like more of a complex tool, like in the words sense. But it has all the pictures and stuff, and it's just way more organized than Onshape is. Like it, all the icons are stuffed above there. There's a whole tab for this, whole tab for that. Cut all different. So yeah, I can pretty much say that Onshape is a good tool, and it's pretty much the same as Autodesk. When I went to Onship, I thought like Autodesk would be something really big and like impossible to do, but it's basically the same thing. And also, we've got the sh the fillet, as you can see. I just moved in a really hard object to make on thingy, to make on Tinkercad, and yeah. So see you next. So now I'm in, I'm in, th I'm in thingy, um, Autodesk. And as you can see, it's much, much, much more like, like, it's much more organized than all the other s softwares I've used. 
like if and you've got a whole other tools like a tinker you drag and autodesk you drag but in this software you're just gonna have to move it like that and you can't and only if you click sketch or some other tool you can see the planes and if you can see construct in on shape this called offset plane it's yeah and this these the buttons on top this is uh, is there's an extrude icon showing a little box and this moving an arrow then there's a fillet with the normal fillet then the shell the shell is normal tool but you are probably wondering why i haven't done a video on autodesk it's because autodesk and freecad like freecad is much much more complicated than autodesk but i will do a video on that later or uh, later but as you can see i can make like a really smooth object quickly you can't do this it doesn't well you have it on on shape so there's no really big difference but the only thing is that's made by a different com company on shapes made by pc pt no on shape yeah it's made by ptc and autodesk is made by autocad wait no autocad is made by autodesk got the way wrong so um so I'm using Fusion 360 actually, not using Autodesk. But as you can see, I'm making a fillet, and if and I'm gonna make a little bottle for just like a quickly. I'm gonna make a little bottle. I do not know what happened there, but something happened. And yeah, as you can see, it's a much easier and better tool. So, um, it's not a better tool. It's just the same tool. But if you you have a lot of things, like if you can see the design arrow, you can make it into a render. And if you make something else, it's easier. And I just made a ball in three seconds. Anyone can make a ball in three seconds. And yeah, so yeah, so bye, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like, subscribe, share. Bye.